So the first uh, finance class that all block majors would take is financial management. That's finance 325. And that covers some of the basic math and logic and theory of, of finance. So um, that would give a pretty good overview of some of the basics that are gonna filter into whatever big job category you want. And then if you choose to make finance your emphasis area, you're gonna get a lot deeper dive in corporate finance. Uh, there's gonna be subsequent classes there, uh, investments. There's also uh, the opportunity to get some exposure to financial institutions like banks uh, and other curriculum. Uh, so we have, uh, within the emphasis area, uh, we have quite a few choices of ways that you can uh, get even a deeper exposure to finance knowledge. If you want to get involved in finance early, probably the best way to do that is through our Student Financial Management Association. So this FMA group, we call it, is run by students. I'm the faculty advisor currently, uh, but it really is a student-run organization. We tend to have meetings once a week or every two weeks. Uh, about half the time we're bringing in speakers from the community. And a lot of times these speakers are alumni uh, or folks that are familiar with the Block School. And they are oftentimes coming from institutions that hire Block students. And so it's a great chance to meet employers, to learn about different careers. And I think uh, a really important piece is to network with other folks at Block that are interested in finance. A lot of times that peer network is really one of the more valuable things that you can get. And this is a way that you can do that early. We have undergraduates, we have graduate students. That usually leads to some pretty interesting connections as well. I'd also just encourage you to reach out to your faculty in finance and uh, tell them what you're interested in um, and what uh, types of things you might want to get engaged in. We compete in a variety of student competitions. Uh, oftentimes there are a variety of kind of ad hoc internships or career opportunities that sometimes faculty uh, are aware of that they might be able to connect you with. And you definitely want to reach out to the Career Center and uh, start thinking about a little more formal job search uh, and starting to connect with the community that way. So I've worked on a lot of cool projects at Block, but one of my favorites is our student stock pitch competition. And the thing that I really like about that particular event is that it was student-led. So we had a student uh, come to the faculty and say, you know, in other places, these stock pitch competitions are going on. I think this would be cool for Block to have, especially being located in Kansas City. Makes a lot of sense to even get schools from the region involved. And so we got that off the ground thanks to the work uh, of our students. Uh, they really took, uh, took charge there and organized and designed the competition, helped recruit students. And that's something that we uh, look forward to continuing. And that is an example of something that came also out of our student FMA group, is a lot of the leaders that were involved there uh, wanted to do something a little extra even than what we normally did. And uh, it's always fun to see students take the things we talk about in class and look for other ways to apply it and also ways to really engage with the Kansas City community. Because I think that's one of the big advantages we have at Block. Thank you.